All right, guys, now we are going to connect our seatbelt flip to our Merkel flip, which is, I don't know, it's kind of a recent figure. So anyway, uh, Adam, can I yeah. So this time again, I'm trying to adjust Adam's base. I'm using off balancing. I'm trying to bump him as he catches his base. I drop and I just don't feel like I can flip him. He feels too solid. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go from all the way on his right side to all the way on his left side, reset us, go head over heels to the Merkel flip. So again, if you notice, as I'm flipping my opponent, I'm sucking my knees all the way in because I don't want them to land on my thighs. I don't want to have them fall through a gap in my own defense, which should be a little awkward to force the crucifix. Not the end of the world, but I don't need to make his life any easier. So I'm flipping from one side. I'm taking a U-shape all the way here, and then I'm bouncing back out with the Merkel flip. As soon as I feel him off of his base, my knees come into my chest, and I'm prepared for this person to land in my lap. And I'm going to rotate and attack with my hooks in whichever direction seems most appropriate at the time. So I'm off balance and I'll start with the double unders. I'll switch to my seat belt, bounce back up, try to drive into him, head over heels, and attack in transition if I can. Okay. So this time we'll start with the seat belt. Adam fights my hands. I'm like, oh man, I start to lose it. I take my hand back out. Start to off balance him, bump him to his left side, which hopefully engages his left arm, which means my right can come in. I try to flip him. Adam's not having it. I sit him all the way up. And attack one more time. Let's face this away, please. And that's your seatbelt flip to your Merkel flip.